This tutorial is all about reactions of alkenes including polymerization. Here on the left we have an alkene whereas here on the right we have an alkane. This on the left is pentene, this underneath is pentane. But how would you tell the difference between them? How could you use a test to distinguish one from the other? This describes a simple chemical test you would do to distinguish an alkane from an alkene. Simply, you take your sample, you add some bromine water, give it a good shake, and then have a look at it afterwards. Alkenes will decolorize bromine water. Bromine water starts off orange, but when it's shaken with an alkene, it will turn colorless. Alkanes have no such reaction and they remain an orange colour. What do all these substances have in common? Well we might say that they're all made of plastic but in chemistry we need to be a bit more specific than that. When we look at the molecules that each of these are made from they all have something in common. They're all long chain molecules with a backbone of carbon atoms. These are called polymers and polymers are made out of many repeating units. You need to be able to recognize the displayed formula for a polymer, be able to name a polymer from the monomer that makes it, and you should be able to recognize that the polymerization reaction involves adding many small molecules together to make a long chained molecule called a polymer and that this requires a high pressure and a catalyst. This shows a space filling model for the polymer polyethene and a section of its structure drawn with a chain of carbon atoms in the picture are black with hydrogen atoms joined to them but you can see that it's very much a repeating chain and if we have a look at the chain we can see that after every two carbons it repeats itself so the repeating unit is a CH2CH2. There's a very specific way of writing these formulas. We say that the repeating unit is CH2CH2 in a square bracket shown here and it's repeated n times over. That's because it's been made out of very many n number of ethene molecules called monomers which each originally had a carbon-carbon double bond. But when they react together Notice that the double bond is used to make a single bond between the two carbons and the remaining electrons are used to help to make these bonds either way to join it onto the next molecule. So when you draw the displayed formula of a polymer you must show a square bracket with an N after it showing that it's repeated many times over. Two key terms you must understand are the terms polymer and monomer. The monomer is the small double bonded molecule which is the building block from which polymers are made. Polymers however are the very large chain molecules found in plastics and the reaction that joins these monomer molecules together to make a polymer is called addition polymerization. Polymerization occurs because the monomers have a carbon-carbon double bond, covalent bond so that makes them alkenes and these double bonds can break open and because of the high pressure and catalyst used can allow the monomer molecules to join together as a long chain polymer. There's many kinds of addition polymers, here's a few of them and notice how the names of the polymers are very related to the names of the monomers. We first of all got ethene making polyethene. Notice that the, there are brackets around the ethene part and polyethene, better known as polythene, is used for bags and packaging. We've got chloroethene making polychloroethene. Now, chloroethene used to be called vinyl chloride, so that's polyvinyl chloride or PVC and PVC is used for making cables. And then we have styrene which is made into the polymer polystyrene and that's used for making cups from drinks machines. Here's a past exam question. This question is about polymers. Draw a straight line to join each polymer to its correct use. Draw only three lines. 
Okay, so polythene is used, um, well, it's used for packaging and plastic bags, so I'll leave that one for a minute. Polystyrene, that one would only be used for packaging, so let's go for that one. Nylon, yes, that would be for clothing, so polythene is for plastic bags.